Here are your updates for face. <laughs> Here are your Facebook updates for September eighth, twenty twenty one. First, we got one report to rule them all. Probably not anything new for a lot of folks out there who are really savvy with Google Analytics, but this popped up in Stack Marketer as a way to look at all your different paid channels uh, so you don't have to log into each uh, advertising platform to check on ad spend, aggregate data, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, this reporting strategy that we can link up here by Joe Martinez explains every step of it here, but some of the import or data you can import cost, cost per click, click the rate, ROAS, and from all these types of things. So uh, check out this cool guide and see how you can improve your reporting dashboard. Next, we got the good, the bad, and the political. So uh, Facebook found a bug that undercounted app installs on iPhone 12 devices been going on since February. Oh my Lord. Uh, but the good news is Facebook is testing a, a new ad strategies tool that allows you to do, allows you to create a full customer pipeline in one go. Looks pretty sleek, says the folks at Stack Marketer. And then lastly, uh, for this one, uh, Facebook announced yesterday that it will limit the number of political content that appears in its feed. And uh, they're looking at different types of signals uh, for engagement. So less emphasis on signals such as how likely someone is to comment or share, uh, and more on signals such as how likely they are to provide uh, negative feedback on posts about certain topics. Uh, next, quick update from Alessandro Pulizzi from Twitter. Instagram continues to work on the Fans Club feature. Here are some membership settings, uh, or here's the membership settings section. What's included, badge for prioritized interactions, exclusive stories, and exclusive lives. And lastly, we've got the lightning round. Ding, 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 ding. Woo, lightning round. Yeah, it's here. Finally, I can't wait. Ah, it's, oh, my God. Uh, autumn is on the way, or uh, fall, as we call it in the United States. Uh, <laughs> I was going to link up this funny meme, uh, the difference of Americans calling it fall versus, uh, I guess, the other English-speaking countries calling it autumn. Uh, I'll have to link that up some other time. But they have a... a they have a, a report on some fall trends. So I think pumpkin spice is gone. I feel like we're like five years past that. So there could be some surprises in there. Uh, next, Instagram live shopping is getting more popular on Instagram. And they announced 10 days of shopping events hosted by popular influencers. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, next, on social media in general, people are spending more money or spending money on the apps because of live streaming. So that seems to be across uh, multiple platforms. And lastly, governments across the world are demanding that social media networks shouldn't be able to ban anyone they want. The Brazilian government is the most recent addition to this list. Those are your updates for the day. I'll see you next week.